Uh, hello everybody, welcome back with my given here. Um, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of an update and then a big opinion piece. Who knows how long it goes on for. I'm gonna do one one take of this, hopefully it works, and hopefully you guys will forgive me for anything I say that is incorrect or maybe wrong, because it's an opinion, and of course I'm not the best at talking. So yeah, um, the uh, update is that the December 1st update for A Township Tale might be delayed. I was reading a lot more in the chat um, uh, this morning, uh, and it looks like it might be delayed for maybe a day. I sometimes like to quell my expectations and give them two days. Who knows? We'll see. Um, but yeah, with that aside, that's temporary. That's really relevant of one day as of posting this. So yeah, with that aside, let's get to the juicy stuff. So, the opinion about a content drought of a Township Tale. Now, we kind of left the content drought because of the tower update recently in a Township Tale. So, the content's starting to roll out a lot faster, which is awesome. We love that and everything. But a lot of people were very angry, frustrated, mixed emotions about how there was no updates in a Township Tale for the longest of time. Um, and I'm just gonna address some of those people. Um, you, you know who you are. If you, if you think I'm attacking you personally and you never talked to me before in some kind of like comment chain or whatever, I'm probably not talking to you. You might have a different stance. Everyone's stances are different. So it's not like this is generalized to everybody. Okay, that's a disclaimer aside, just disclaimer. Let's talk, okay, from here on, it's my opinion and such. So if you disagree with it, it it's opinion, it's opinion. Um, just put comment down below what your thoughts are, though, if you have thoughts about that. But let's let's continue on. So, content drought. Um, to put this in perspective, I actually wanted to talk about my current job um, because I'm a software developer and I understand. Um, it's just like, you know, updating and how long it takes to update things. So, I work at a software development firm um, for financial softwares. Um, and with updates it takes a long time to get fixes to our platform or application out it takes a long time so how long does it take well let's say some our user has an issue in our application they report the issue now me as a developer i'm actually already working on issues all the time that's my daily job i work on issues fix them apply update blah 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 all that stuff that takes a long time but that's what happens so they maybe report an issue and in the game sense you report bugs in the game um, so you take the bug, what happens is uh, like eventually a manager or somebody that's in charge of making sure those bugs get issued out to the software developers to fix them, they will assign it to a developer. So the developer gets assigned. They, they get assigned a, a bug or fix or that needs to be go in or something like that. And that developer is already working on something. So what happens is that from the time it takes for reporting it to actually starting development, it might take a solid month. At least in my case, it takes two weeks to a month before I start working on it, oftentimes. So that's one month in, unless it's a very immediate fix that needs going. Of course, there's like priority, of course. Okay, but it takes almost a month to actually get started on. Um, so that's like step one. It, it literally one month just working on. Now, next step is I need to fix the update. So hopefully I don't have too much on my plate in terms of fixes that I can actually work on it. Now, oftentimes, I oftentimes give like my manager, if they ask how long you think this will take, I give them like two weeks. That's like my minimum almost, unless it's like something immediate, then I might try to work on it in a few days. But I give them like, yeah, it's probably gonna take me two weeks. Now you do two weeks and then maybe it does, doesn't work out and I have to do, I gotta bounce ideas off other people. It might extend even more another two weeks. And depending on the, the fix, it can take up to a month. And even if you think it's so small, the performance and everything might be affected and it might actually just take a month of fixing. So a month of fixing goes by. So one month barely to, to just like, you know, get it reported and everything. One month to fix it. And then from there, what happens? We don't just push it out. You don't just push out a fix just like that. What you do is you do regression testing. Now, if you don't know what regression testing is, it's basically where the developer for a specific issue or patch or whatever, once they finish something, they probably only worked on some segment that relates to that thing but they haven't compared it to the entire build, the entire application as a whole. So regression testing, that's where that kicks in. It takes that little fix and they go and test it against everything and make sure it performs good, well, blah, blah, blah. If it doesn't, then it gets kicked back to the developer. Now that can take some time if it gets kicked back, that takes even more time. But let's just say it went without a hitch. It's awesome. Now, how long does that regression testing take? It can take a week, two weeks, where I work, it actually takes three weeks. We're trying to get it down to two week cycle, but it takes three weeks 
So basically a month. Sometimes it takes a full month. So let's just consider we're just running these up to you know quell expectations to a month. Three months go by, and your regression testing is finally done. Then you push it out. So one little fix can take three months to work on and push out after it was reported and taken from the development team. And sometimes they're just working on stuff and it goes to the backlog, aka it won't get worked on for months. So it can take almost up to four or five, six months before a fix ever gets fixed. So now let's put this in perspective to the um, opinion stuff about a Township Tale. Of course, this applies to all games. Now, a Township Tale had a content drought of a year. Okay, three months of a fix or a update. That makes sense when you think about it. Like, it, it, yeah, they, they had a year, but there's actually something else that we haven't considered. Platform, like, like moving platforms and such, or moving like databases and such. Those things take a long time. Of course, since I work at a financial firm, those things take a little bit longer than normal. So um, currently, currently we actually are going through a big platform change. We're switching from one cloud service to another cloud service. Now, do you want to know what our expectation for that is? Comment down below what you think the expectation for my team for switching from one cloud service to another cloud service. AK, or like, for example, if I'm switching from Azure, Microsoft Azure, to like a, uh, Amazon's AWS, how long do you think it takes? Well, it takes two years. That's our expectation. Expectation. Meaning, it's been almost a year, actually, of going in on it, and we haven't worked on it that much. We really haven't. We've... We've been thinking and mapping out what we think the infrastructure will look like. And then I think we're going to start working on that next year and actually build it up next year. Meaning like by the end of year two, end of next year, we might actually have the infrastructure all built and then we might start shifting over to it more. And that might actually happen throughout all of next year. So maybe it does happen a little bit on that second year. So let's relate that to what a Township Tail with the Alta team is going through. They have the PC VR platform shifting over to the Quest platform. They got the whole first chunk of it done. So they worked on it for a year there to get it done. And then what are they doing? They're basically doing what my team kind of did where they were trying to figure out how are we going to work on this and everything. So they maybe assigned the Quest or the, the tower to a certain group. They assigned some other stuff to a certain group. Maybe they have the trainer group before they can even work on stuff. And guess what? It's been a year and now they have the tower out and updates seem to start rolling out faster which I'm going to be very surprised if they actually start rolling them out literally month by month basis with some pretty solid updates, especially with this Christmas update coming up. We'll, we'll see what it looks like. I'll maybe do an European piece later about that. Um, but this puts it into a lot of perspective. So this is my experience and my knowledge of how these things work. Of course, I do not understand what all to, how they have their company arranged or how they do their testing all the time. They sometimes companies test in different ways. So this is just, you know, my experience and why I personally or do, I don't take it personally for, you know, them not updating for a year. It, it makes complete sense to me. Um, now, hopefully this little eye opening kind of knowledge that you guys can hear that, like how long it takes for software developers to work on things. This is a little bit like eye opening for you to know, oh, this is how long it takes. I did not know that. If it's if you still have an opinion about it, I'd love to like read your comments down below and maybe we can like uh, discuss like your experiences versus my experiences, stuff like that. But like, I don't know. I just thought that this is my opinion piece of like why I'm actually not irritated with it, um, a Township Tale. I, I do have a bias towards Unity uses versus Unreal Engine, but that's just my bias and that's whatever. Like, I, of course, I'm, I'm developing a game actually in Unity just to understand it and to actually understand the game development process because I don't know game development that like 100%. I, I know like financial software and stuff like that, databases. Uh, so this is just a complete different realm for me. And yeah, game development is hard. I gotta say, I would, I would, I picked the job that I have now because I knew how hard it was to quell expectations for gamers. Gamers are crazy, like demanding and such. And I'm, I'm demanding too. I'm a gamer at heart. Like I want more stuff. I want more updates and stuff. And that's kind of almost maybe I take it personally with Minecraft. I don't like Minecraft anymore because I don't like the updates that are rolling out. But guess what? I I, I understand that. Yeah, that they, they do what they do. And I just move on to the next game. So maybe maybe if you are super mad at a, a game specifically, or maybe specifically a Township Tale because it took them forever to update and such, just get, maybe just move to a different game. If you, if you can't get over whatever frustrations 
emotions you might have. Just go move to a different game. You can tell on my channel we don't play exclusively a Township Tale because I would be burned out and tired if I did that. I go and play other games like Sea of Thieves lately. Now, this is just all my opinion, and this is a ramble. It literally just turned into a ramble. But if you guys have, you know, your own opinions, give, give, comment down below. Give this video a like if you think this is like a fun discussion. I normally do these videos on my second channel, um, but if you enjoyed it on this channel, yeah, um, that, that, that's nice. Uh, let me know about that. Uh, but yeah, if you want to check out our game development process um, as we're trying to build a new, it's a platformer that I'm making. It's like a platformer shifting gravity perspective kind of game. Um, yeah, go and go watch my second channel. We, we're going to be doing weekly development updates slash I literally programming in the moment. So who knows? They might be boring. They might be fun. They might be whatever. I have a, a software developer or, or a game developer, my brother. He's working with me and teaching me the ropes because I'm going to be making this game that I'm working on now. And then once we're finished with that, he has a game that he's already developed a lot of that he's going to pull me into and I'm going to develop the survival component of his game. He's basically de developed an entire environment of the game itself and then I just have to put a character in it and that in interacts with that environment. So we'll see where that goes. But yeah, if you guys like this, like, subscribe, all that stuff, ramble over. See ya. Bye.